Many growers are in the harvest season. Many are doing some tillage. Some are doing some fertilization. And for quite a few, it's borrowing season already. From Farm Op Capital, Chief Financial Officer, Farm Op Capital, Kira Rennick joins us here this weekend. You are, in fact, lending some money already, aren't you? We are. We, we started in August, actually. We've uh, renewed quite a few loans already from uh, the 21 season. We always ask, uh, what's the tenor of the, the borrowers? How do they feel? Uh, what are you hearing from them right now, Kira? I think for the most part, our borrowers feel really good, um, in part because of where prices are, uh, but two, because we are renewing uh, farmers early, we are locking in their hedging program today, which um, is still a reflection of, of higher prices. So it's a benefit of not only getting earlier uh, purchasing discounts, but also locking in, you know, typically north of $5 prices. They're locking in those prices and input costs are a concern right now, too. Sure, sure. They certainly are. Kira, how can Farm Op Capital work with growers to take advantage of some of those early season discounts? Yeah, today, I mean, it, it really is about um, the hedging and the risk management program, putting that in place so we can have a more flexible loan to enable them to access uh, funds in August and September. Could you talk a little bit about how the hedging works? Do, do growers go out and handle that on their own, or is that something you handle internally at Farm Op? It's not something we handle. We, we have a preferred network of CTAs, but also um, borrowers can bring their own CTA. But it is, it's essentially a strategy that's crafted between them and their advisor, and then we value it. So I want to ask you, inflation is in the news. It's come up a couple of times on the show so far. When inflation starts to go up, interest rates become a concern. Kier, what are you expecting over this next year? What are you keeping an eye on? You know, over the next two years, if you look at the data, there really isn't a lot of pressure on rates going up. I think it's, it is Fed policy driven, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a crystal ball, but if you, if you look at where most of the market is anticipating potential volatility, um, and a slower um, recovery from, from the pandemic, the rate pressure isn't, uh, isn't there. When we're thinking of operating capital, when we're thinking of, of operating notes that are carrying through the season, uh, a lot of folks are, when times are bad, looking to extend those. What type of capability does farm up capital have for flexibility on uh, making sure farmers are maximizing their borrowed dollars? Yeah, so typically we don't extend. Uh, we're giving them the term up front. So they're getting 18 to 24 months already versus a traditional lender that's getting them 12, let's say. So it's already built into the loan up front. And, uh, you know, for the most part, that program uh, has, has really worked for us. Kara, we appreciate your sharing some insight with us this weekend. Thank you for doing so. We'll pay a lot of attention to Farm Op Capital online, right? You can, a yep. farmer can yep. find you folks. FarmOpCapital.com? FarmOp.com. FarmOp.com. Yep. We'll send them your direction. Thanks right, for joining thanks us a lot. this week. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Here Rennick from FarmOp. Well, Mr. Uh, Mr. Pearson, we'll see you along the way somewhere. We'll, we'll be here with everybody next weekend on This Week in Agribusiness. So long, everyone. Have a great week.